Hey everyone, it's your boy Odin from Affiliate Watch. Today we're going to be showing you how to switch your background automatically as much as you want on Ubuntu. This can also work on any Linux environment that uses GNOME. All right, let me show you real quick. Boom, I just type in background and my background changes just like that. Take a look. Pretty cool. And how you can do this is I will leave the source code down below. This is the file. It's a bash script. And so we take the process ID and then we export the D session. We set the wallpaper directory. So this is important. You need to set where the photos for your backgrounds are going to be located. So all the photos you're gonna rotate through. I have in my pictures folder, a folder called wallpapers, which you can see here, and it includes all my cyberpunk backgrounds. So if we go back, you can see this chooses the wallpaper. It shuffles through that directory and it finds one photo. And then we set the GNOME settings here for that wallpaper. And that's it. It's a very simple script. I'll leave the source code down below. And let me show you guys how to put this in a cron job so you can automate it to do it automatically. So all you need to do, and just so you know, I have a folder called bash that is in my documents folder. So I just do this command. And what this star slash three means is it means every three minutes. And then the next four are stars. If you don't know how to set these properly, then I would recommend looking online how to do a cron job every two minutes or how to do it every two hours or how often you want to change your background. So we basically CD into the folder, which will jump in there. And then we just run the bash script, which is called background.sh. And then I also, I showed you this earlier. That is the command to do it automatically. And that is set in my RC folder. I'm using ZSH shell. So that's why I have this as my RC file name. If I open it up and I go to the bottom, you can see right here, I have an alias that says alias background. And then I put the command and it just says bash documents bash background.sh. Just tells it to run the background script. And yeah, that's it guys. If you like cool Ubuntu tutorials, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell button, make sure to like and comment. If you're not using Linux and Ubuntu, I'm sorry, but you're missing out. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.